Hey guys, it is iTouch Tech here again with another video. And um, looking at Apple's current um, market sales report, um, it's more than likely that one or two of you have at least got a new iPod Touch, iPhone, or iPad in the last quarter of this year, or 2011 to be exact. Um, and a whole bunch of you people uh, actually don't know how to uh, set up your device for the first time on iOS 5. Um, this video is also for people who have just updated their iPhones to or, or other iOS 5 compatible devices to iOS 5. So, um, also, first off, before I do begin this video, I would like to apologize to all my iTouch Tech viewers um, for not making too many videos on this channel recently. That is actually because I have been working a lot on my second channel, Tech Geek HD, the link to which is going to be in the description below. So, I'd really appreciate if you guys could check that out. So, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad. Now, the first thing you're going to see when you turn on your device is something like this. Uh, if you have an iPhone, it's going to say iPhone. If you have an iPod Touch, it's going to say iPod. If you have an iPad, it's going to say iPad. So we slide to unlock, and basically what you have to do here is select your language, which for me obviously is English. Then um, by location services, your device should already pretty much pick up your location, but um, if it doesn't, then all you guys have to do is uh, check on show more and then select your location. After you've done that, you just have to hit next, and then you can choose to enable or disable location services. I recommend you guys enable it and then later disable the features that you don't really require. So after doing that, you can hit next again. Here is where you guys set up your Wi-Fi network. Now, this is where you guys can connect to your office, home, or, you know, school Wi-Fi network. What I'm going to do quickly is type in my uh, Wi-Fi network password and then hit join. This shouldn't take more than a few seconds. And as you guys can see there, um, I should be fully connected to my Wi-Fi network. So I'm going to hit next, and it says activating your device, um, whatever device you do have. It says it can take up to three minutes, but it usually doesn't take much longer than a minute. Sorry, I meant three minutes, so it doesn't really take much longer than a minute to activate your device. Now, this is with your carrier, so right there, it's actually started searching for my carrier, and uh, since I have a factory unlocked phone here, um, it shouldn't take too long, and I don't really require any other setting up. Now, what you guys can do is actually set it up as a new device, if it is your first device, um, or something like that. Or you can restore from an iCloud backup or uh, an iTunes backup. So what I'm actually going to be doing is restoring from an iCloud backup. But basically, if you guys set up as a new device, all you do is hit set up as an iPhone, as a new um, iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad. Hit next, hit agree, uh, and then you're set to go. But because I want to restore from an iCloud backup, that's the same thing here. You just hit restore from iCloud backup and hit next. After doing this, you guys are going to have to put in your Apple ID. Now, this just takes a few seconds, um, considering that you guys already have an Apple ID. But if you don't, then uh, you guys can actually create one. Uh, but for that, you would probably have to go through one of the other options instead of uh, restoring from an iCloud backup. Because, you know, if you don't have an account, you can actually have made a previous backup. Now, I did because I actually did restore my phone just to show you guys um, how to do this video. Um, so, I actually did have an iCloud backup up prepared from before so these are the terms and conditions you're going to see all you have to do is hit agree and agree again and again it says it's going to take a few minutes to set up your apple id now considering my internet is fairly slow today um it may take a little while but that shouldn't be the case for you guys so after you have uh, selected um your icloud backup or started setting up as a new device anyway but um you can choose your backup. My uh, It automatically chooses the latest backup, or you can choose from another backup. So I made this backup a while back, a couple of hours ago, so I'm just going to hit restore. And from here, it's going to restore your phone to um, your original settings from your uh, previous backup, which you guys made before. So that pretty much is it about this video, guys. I really do hope you enjoyed it, and it does help a couple of you guys out. If it does, I would it would really um, mean a lot to me, and I'd really appreciate it if you guys could hit the subscribe button up top. Also, um, it would be really nice if you guys are interested in technology, reviews, and stuff to subscribe to this channel, as well as my second channel, Tech Geek HD, the link to which is going to be in the description below. If you guys do need any other help, do feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. Uh, or post a comment to my um, YouTube channel or if you guys uh, have a personal question to ask which you wouldn't like everybody else to see or have it something uh, to tell me a recommendation or something like that feel free to send me a personal message on my YouTube channel so again guys that is pretty much about it for this video I really do hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next video peace